<laughs> What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Ozark Trail aluminum roll-up uh, folding table. So the reason why I just picked this up and I got it from Walmart uh, com and it was $69 with free two-day shipping plus tax came to around 76 bucks um, the reason why I decided to go this route is on our last beach camping trip I took our lifetime uh, folding six-foot table and I have it right here so I'll show you a comp comparison when they're fully set up um, to the beach and folded in half obviously it's three foot by about three foot um, and it's about six inches um, in, I guess, height when it's folded up. So slamming that in the back of the Jeep, it took up a bit of space and it made things a little uneven as far as packing. Um, it's also quite a bit heavier. The Ozark fold-up comes in, uh, I think, at around 16 pounds or a little under 16 pounds. Uh, this one, I think, is almost around 20, so it, not a huge difference, but... Um, this one just takes up a heck of a lot more room. Um, so as you can see, this is the roll up. It comes in a little bag like this. So basically I looked at a bunch of other ones uh, that are similar to this one. I looked on REI.com and it was like $149. Um, and that was only for a square one. Uh, Ozark also makes a um, a square version of this one which was $49. I decided to get the rectangle one just so that way I would have room to put our cooking equipment and then have some space to put out our food uh, for when we're camping. So uh, I'm gonna unbox this one, put it together, see how easy it is, line it up next to the Lifetime Fitness one that we have been using and then I'll show you what it looks like in the back of the Jeep and you could draw your own conclusions and see which one you think might be the better one for uh, using on a camping trip. All right, so let's take it out of the pouch and let's get it set up. All right. All right, so one thing that you can uh, see on here in this bag is that it's actually divided. So one side is for the poles and the table uh, structure and then the tabletop goes on the other side. So they got that nicely split there. It's a nice nice heavy duty canvas bag with a uh, drawstring closed top. And also this table does come in two colors. The color I got was gray and they do have a wood tone color. So here's the structure. So you have your poles, they snap together like so, and then they have holes here in the bottom. There's three of them, and those holes correspond on here, so you got to line those up. And now, just lay this on top. And then you're gonna see these, each side has this, and that's gonna loop on to right here.
All right, that was pretty easy. Now, one thing underneath, there are Velcro um, tabs. I'll show you that. That then you can Velcro to this main support bar that's under here. So this Velcro right here, then you're just gonna secure that to this bar. All right, not a bad table. Let's do a side by side with the uh, the six foot fold up lifetime table. All right, so as you can see here, the Ozark uh, fold up camping table is definitely a lot smaller than the lifetime uh, six foot folding table. Uh, so you, what I'm probably gonna do is I may pick up the square one also to have a separate eating table. Um, but that should still give me plenty of uh, space savings. Um, so if we measure this, this lifetime table is 30 inches wide, six feet long, and it's 29 inches high. The Ozark table is 46 inches long, it's 27 and a half wide, and 27 and a half tall. All right, so that's the dimensions. It went together pretty within about a minute. I didn't even read the directions. The included directions, little sheet of paper. It's very simple. I didn't even use them and I was able to figure it out. Uh, so let's, I'm gonna break the Ozark table down. I'm gonna fold the lifetime and then I'm gonna show you them in the back of the Jeep. All right, let's do that. So when folding the table back up, it fits back into the bag three slots. So you gotta fold it up three slots. And then you also have to have it on the right side. Um, otherwise it won't fit on the other side. So that was the little hiccup that I had. But let me show you what it looks like in the back of the Jeep. That's it. All right, so let's fold up the lifetime table and then I'll show you what that looks like in the back. So obviously the, uh, the lifetime table folds up a lot quicker, um, but let's show you what it looks like in there. And then you can make the final uh, judgment. So you can see it takes up pretty much the whole space. Here's how tall it is. So it definitely eats up some space when packing in there. All right, so that was a quick little unboxing and review of the Ozark Trail foldable aluminum table. Uh, as a comparison to the table that we had used and have been using the Lifetime foldable six foot table. Um, actually, I, I like the Ozark table. It takes up a, <laughs> it takes up a lot less space. Um, so we'll see how it works on the next trip if that is a benefit. So um, the one issue that we have is that we use the uh, Camp Chef oven. Um, so having this big table makes packing a little harder just because we can't um, have everything even on the bottom of the Jeep and the table has to be off to one side because of the way the Jeep tailgate is. Otherwise it will bang into it. Um, so as I said, this table was 69 bucks on walmart.com with free shipping, um, had to pay tax, so about 76 bucks. They do have that square one, 
which is 49 bucks. It's a lot smaller. I think it's 30 inches by 30 inches by 27 and a half tall. Um, that one is $49, so I might pick that one up also uh, just to have that as a separate eating table and then use this one uh, for where we'll um, put all of our kitchen equipment and uh, where we'll cook our food. Um, I will say I'll show you a quick clip or a picture from the last camping trip. The lifetime table, we didn't even cook on it the last time because the way we set up camp the next day, uh, we had like a west-southwest wind coming in, so I actually used the full table on its side as a windbreak, so that way we could actually not have any issues cooking. Um, so, I guess there's pros and cons to both, depending on how much equipment you bring. Um, the issue that I have is that it's, um, it's me, it's Jordana, it's Aurelia and Odin, so anytime we go out camping, um, packing for four people we have to bring food for four people and have to be able to just accommodate four people and it's um two adults and two <laughs> very needy little people so even though we try to minimize as much as we can um i want the camping and the outing experiences to be very positive and um so sometimes you have to bring some creatures of comfort from home to help reinforce that um you know camping and being out in nature is good so i guess as they get older we'll probably be able to dial back some of the stuff that we bring but for now it is what it is and so i'm just trying to figure out ways to um, get lighter gear and not pay a lot of money so i will link uh to walmart where this table i will link to the square table um the lifetime table i think it's in costco the foldable one, I think I saw it this past weekend for 49 bucks on Amazon. It's like, I think over 89 or 99 bucks because of the shipping and stuff. Um, and then I will also link to the REI version so you can compare. Um, and I just did basic Google searches of a aluminum folding table and just researched a whole bunch of the different tables. So I tried the way cost to benefit and I thought this one for 69 bucks got a, it was a little longer and I definitely wasn't paying $150 for this. So 70 bucks not so bad or 76 with the tax. Um, so this is the second Ozark product that uh, we own we also have the two-room shower pop-up tent um, so stay tuned for a real real <laughs> so stay tuned for a review on that one um, because we just used that on our last camping trip as our um, our bathroom which is required to be on the beach with so I wanted to actually use it set it up see how it performed and um, I'll be able to give you a a review on that coming up next so look for that video and then uh, got a bunch of other Jeep projects coming uh, just trying to find the time um, all right so if you like this video hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe um, thanks again for watching and we're over 3,500 subscribers now and thank you everybody uh, it's much appreciated and I hope I get to see you out on the beach or on the trail or you know just just get out there, man. Nature's beautiful. All right.